Hi guys, welcome back to Techify. Um today we are going to be I'm going to be te uh, giving you a tutorial on how to set up fishers. Um fishers are basically like fishing rods which will go into the ocean, fish out fish, only fish. It doesn't fish out like books and stuff like that. Um it uh, yeah, basically. So, um so th let's get started with it. So basically, um, you get your fissures set up by putting an energy source, which is downstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. It comes all the way up here, and then you link it all the way along here. And then it will go around this corner, depending on how many fissures you have. Um, and then you set up your fissures each side. And then once the fishes are set up, um, you want to put some item conduit in, like on top, um, for the fish to come out. So, um, as you'll see here, if I was to take this fish, this pipe out, in a minute, just leave it a few seconds. If you don't have any, um, what's it called? Um, item conduits then you won't item duct item conduits doesn't matter depend uh i use item duct opaque because they're the easiest ones to make um but if you were to wait set it all up these would be see it's almost at the max so they go up to 900 and then they pop out a fish um that's what these item ducks do so if you put it down it'll go to blue if you get a precision sledgehammer and right click it it will go like that you can either uh to make that light up like these you can either use redstone torches like i have or you can use a pneumatic servo um basically what pneumatic servos do is they basically they're better than redstone torches because you can whitelist stuff but I prefer redstone torches because they're easier to make. Um, if you guys are wondering what that is, I'll explain to you later. Hi, sheep. Um, so we'll go downstairs. If I can type, um, and I'll show you how it works. So here's where it comes out. So it goes from my tesseract all the way underneath underneath powers all the other stuff goes up there and you can see where it leads to the fishes the exact same thing happens with the item duct um, it comes down here it goes into a chest which there's nothing in there and it either goes into this redstone furnace or it goes into this alloy smelter um, and then when it's cooked like this fish that was just cooked so let's wait a minute wait for a fish uh, see look there's some fish there it smelts it and then it pulls it out and goes into this deep storage unit as you can see I've got 14,950 960 cooked fish um, these are also powered by the redstone um, energy conduit that's going underneath um, so yeah um, there's not much else to say should we move on to the next thing I'm going to show you? Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is basically the concept of uh, your ME system. So an ME system is basically like you put, you place it all down, which is an ME controller, which you must have. So the essentials you need to have is an ME controller, ME drive, or you need you have to have an ME controller, ME drive an access terminal or a crafting terminal you don't you can have either i've got both and storage monitor you don't have to have that's just an add-on um so this controller what i'm looking at now is what you use to um power your me so you put that down and if you see right clicked it's it shows you what's been powered so the me drive the me access terminal the crafting terminal and the storage monitor um, ME drive is basically it holds the storages the access terminal 
it gives you access to the whole ME. As you can see, I've got lots of stuff in my ME. Um, and the crafting terminal is like the access terminal, but it has a crafting table. So, say that like if I wanted to craft a pickaxe, I would just go to st sticks. A bit of lag. Um, and then I would need some iron as you can see I haven't got no iron at the moment because it's downstairs so if we was to go downstairs uh, and get some iron so we need three so it's one three um, and then go up and then if you use the right click and do three along it'd make an iron pickaxe but the iron disappears out sticks stay in because I've got 246 sticks left so if I was to make a precision sledgehammer which is this which I need to make another one for my friend you do that so it's two sticks three plastic sheets and plastic sheets you make by let's go to plastic sheets plastic sheets um it's four raw plastic and the way you get four raw plastic is if you smelt rubber bars and rubber bars the way you get them is by smelting raw rubber raw rubber is from you could either put in a uh, rubber wood into a sawmill or you can plant rubber saplings so if we use rubber there we go rubber saplings um they drop um, you can either smelt the rubber wood, which makes rubber, or rubber drops out. Um, so if you have to take that position to death hammer, as you can see, I still make another one. If you want to clear all of this ME, all you have to do is just click the X in the top right hand corner, um, and then it's all done. Um, so yeah, um, next episode I will be showing you the concept of storage. So the deep storage unit, the chests, different types of chests. Um, so yeah, uh, this has been Epic Kills 15 and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.